tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. Let me call myself, for the present, William Wilson. The fair page now lying before me need not be sullied with my real appellation. This has already been too much an object for the scorn, for the horror, for the detestation of my race. To the uttermost regions of the globe, have not the indignant winds brooded its unparalleled infamy? Oh, outcasts of all outcasts most abandoned. To the earth, art thou not forever dead? To its honors, to its flowers, to its golden aspirations. And a cloud, dense, dismal, and limitless, does it not hang eternally between thy hopes and heaven? I would not, if I could, here or today, embody a record of my later years of unspeakable misery and unpardonable crime. This epic, these later years, took on to themselves a sudden elevation in turpitude, whose origin alone it is my present purpose to assign. Men usually grow base by degrees. For me, in an instant, all virtue dropped bodily as a mantle. I shrouded my nakedness in triple guilt. From comparatively trivial wickedness I passed, with the stride of a giant, into more than the enormities of an elagabalus. What chance? What one event brought this evil thing to pass? Bear with me while I relate. Death approaches, and the shadow which foreruns him has thrown a softening influence over my spirit. I long, in passing through the dim valley, for sympathy. I had nearly said for the pity of my fellow men. I would fain have them believe that I have been, in some measure, the slave of circumstances beyond human control. I would wish them to seek out for me, in the details I am about to give, some little oasis of fatality amid a wilderness of error. I would have them allow what they cannot refrain from allowing, that, although temptation may have ere while existed as great, man was never thus, at least, tempted before, certainly never thus fell, and it is therefore that he has never thus suffered. Have I not, indeed, been living in a dream? And am I not now dying a victim to the horror and the mystery of the wildest of all sublunary visions? I am the descendant of a race whose imaginative and easily excitable temperament has at all times rendered them remarkable, and, in my earliest infancy, I gave evidence of having fully inherited the family character. As I advanced in years, it was more strongly developed becoming, for many reasons, a cause of serious disquietude to my friends and of positive injury to myself. I grew self-willed, addicted to the wildest caprices, and a prey to the most ungovernable passions, weak-minded, and beset with constitutional infirmities akin to my own. My parents could do but little to check the evil propensities which distinguished me. Some feeble and ill-directed efforts resulted in complete failure on their part, and, of course, in total triumph on mine. <laughs> Thenceforward, my voice was a household law, 
And at an age when few children have abandoned their leading strings, I was left to the guidance of my own will and became, in all but name, the master of my own actions. My earliest recollections of a school life are connected with a large, rambling, cottage-built, and somewhat decayed building in a misty-looking village of England, where were a vast number of gigantic and gnarled trees, and where all the houses were excessively ancient. In truth, it was a dreamlike and spirit-soothing place. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next evil idol. In the meantime, turn off the lights and turn on the dark. <laughs>